For the first time in more than 100 years, the city of Mason has given up its right to the exclusive use of this downtown alley between Bad Brewing and Keynes. The reason? So Bad Brewing can continue to use the space for outdoor seating. It started with a special use agreement between Bad Brewing and the city in summer 2020. As part of COVID, um, the city uh, allowed businesses downtown to use public space to expand outdoors because of the restrictions for indoor seating in the restaurants and bars. Opening up out here in the open air and being able to be socially distanced, uh, it worked out really good for us and helped us. Uh, we ran that through early fall of 2020 and then we brought it back this year in 2021. By adding the alley seating to its original patio space. It got us back to basically almost 100% capacity. And it uh, draws a lot of people to downtown. Um, people come to town uh, and come to bed just to sit outside in that alley. That agreement with the city, however, was set to expire at the end of this month. We really wanted to be able to keep this space open. Um, so come midsummer, we started talking with the city and looking at options of what can we do to utilize this space um, full time. Razdale and Teresa Wren, owner of Keens Next Door, requested that the city vacate the alley. To keep the alley the way it, he has created it. And he brings business to me and I'm sure I bring business to, to his business also. And when he started the street parties, it just added a lot of life to Mason. Owner of Courthouse Pub in Mason, Joe Ganelli, has his reservations. It's very creative. I think it's genius. My concern is that when does it end? What's going to happen to my community with traffic flow? Are they going to do it in my alley? Monday night, the Mason City Council voted 7-0 to zero to vacate the alley. So now, once this vacating process is officially finished through recording deeds and all that, then Keynes will own a chunk of property that's half the alley and Bad Brewing will own the other half. One important thing to note, however. The alley technically was never owned by the city. What the city owned was an exclusive <laughs> right to use the alley. We didn't give away anything, we gave it back. Back to the properties that originally dedicated it to the city for an alley. Reporting for Fox 47 News from your neighborhood in Mason, I'm Lauren Shields.